We present our recent work on 6D camera relocalization in ambiguous scenes via continuous multimodal inference, a collaborative project between the Technical University of Munich, Stanford University, and Siemens. Image-based camera localization has become a popular research direction. However, in highly ambiguous scenes, such as the scene presented here, correct localization remains a challenging task as images captured from distinct camera poses can have high visual similarity. Instead of predicting a single pose, given an RGB image, our aim is to estimate a set of possible pose hypotheses, explaining ambiguous views and the multimodal nature of the problem. In addition, for each hypothesis, we aim to predict a measure of uncertainty indicating how certain our model is in the predicted camera pose. We model the uncertainty using the entropy of a mixture of multivariate Bingham and Gaussian distributions. To obtain the desired multimodal solution with uncertainty prediction, first we need to define how to parameterize a camera pose. Whereas translations naturally reside in the Euclidean space, how to represent the orientation of a camera has been an ongoing research question. In this work, we represent a camera's orientation as a quaternion, making the Bingham distribution a perfect fit that also allows for continuous inference. The Bingham distribution is an antipodally symmetric distribution and its probability density function is given as follows. Here, x represents a quaternion for which we compute its probability density. The matrix V represents our orientation matrix, which we build from the estimated quaternion of our model. And f is a normalization constant. The matrix lambda is called the concentration matrix and is constructed in a sorted fashion. In this work, we use its parameters as an indication of the spread of the Bingham distribution or, in other words, the likelihood of a quaternion belonging to the distribution. As an illustration, we plot a Bingham distribution, which can be seen here. We marginalize over the angular component and visualize the resulting probability density. Depending on the values of the concentration matrix, highly negative values result in a, so to say, more narrow distribution. As a result, the peak of the distribution is always found at the mode of the distribution, meaning its most likely value. In a similar fashion, in turn, less negative values result in a spread of the distribution. In our method, we use this information to infer how certain our model is in its prediction. Now, to obtain a multimodal prediction, we model the camera's orientation using the Bingham distribution, whereas the translation is handled with Gaussian distributions that have commonly been used in mixture density networks. We then train a neural network on RGB images to predict a mixture of Bingham and Gaussian distributions. For each hypothesis, including orientation, translation, and concentration parameters, as well as variance and mixture coefficients. As a result, we obtain a set of pose hypotheses with associated uncertainty values. By adjusting the number of predicted hypotheses, we can easily influence the resulting distribution. Resetting this parameter to 1 would result in a unimodal version of our method. Out of the predicted hypothesis, the estimate with the highest weight can be chosen to obtain a single prediction if desired. In addition, we obtain a measure of uncertainty in the prediction that can provide additional information about the accuracy of our model. We demonstrate the correlation between uncertainty and post error on the two benchmark datasets, Seven Scenes and Cambridge Landmarks. Both datasets have been widely used to evaluate camera localization methods. Here, we gradually remove the most uncertain samples and plot the mean angular and translational error of the remaining samples in the dataset. As a result, it can be seen that our model is capable of associating high pose error 
with high uncertainty values. However, training such a model has been shown to result in mode collapse, where all hypotheses cluster around a single mode. An alternative to our method would be to use dropout instead to sample post hypothesis from a neural network. However, in addition to the computational overhead introduced by the iterative sampling procedure, we have experimentally found the moon collapse problem to arise in dropout-based methods as well. To avoid such mode collapse, we train our model following a simple multiple hypothesis training strategy. During training, we update each branch with a certain weight, where the weights depend on the distance to the ground truth. Each branch is then trained on minimizing the weighted negative log likelihood for its distribution. To obtain the mixture coefficients, we pick the branch closest to the ground truth for label assignment and use the cross-entropy loss to train our model. Our loss overall is therefore a combination of the loss for each hypothesis and the component weights loss. For initial evaluation of our method, we create synthetic scenes by rendering 3D models of symmetric objects. Such symmetries introduce ambiguous images at certain viewpoints that we can use to evaluate our method in a controlled environment. For additional evaluation in real scenarios, in addition to the two benchmark datasets and synthetically created scenes, we create five real scenes of highly ambiguous environments as well, of which we show the 3D reconstructions here. For each of the five scenes, we capture RGB images as well as ground truth camera poses using a Google Tango device and a graph-based SLAM approach. Our initial experiments in ambiguous environments on synthetic scenes show high correlation between post accuracy and uncertainty prediction. Plausible camera poses are predicted with high certainty, whereas uncertain ones can be easily filtered with our method. As a result of our multiple hypothesis training scheme, we are able to avoid the mode collapse and obtain a diverse and plausible set of post hypotheses that we visualize here. This effect is quantitatively confirmed in our experiments by a high SEMD of our model. Here we compute the Earth's smoothest distance of turning a set of multimodal predictions into a unimodal one. In addition, we compared to baseline methods such as direct regression approaches as PoseNet, multiple hypothesis prediction with MC dropout, and our unimodal and multimodal methods. In comparison, our predictions with our multiple hypothesis training scheme obtain a higher accuracy where we consider a pose to be correct if it is within a certain rotational and translational threshold of the ground truth. To evaluate the remaining hypothesis, we use the prediction closest to the ground truth, which we call Oracle. Our results indicate that even if the best hypothesis was not predicted by our model, it is more likely to be found in the set of predicted hypotheses in comparison to dropout-based methods, for instance. As an example of our model's performance, we visualize the top five predictions of our model according to their uncertainty estimation by rendering the 3D reconstruction of the scene using the predicted camera pose. In summary, we provide a method to infer continuous multimodal distributions that provide a set of pose hypotheses as well as uncertainty values for each prediction. We provide a PyTorch implementation of our method as well as a created dataset online. Thank you for your attention.